Love of God makes life perfect for our living. And so each day we wake up and see the sunshine. We are just grateful for that day. Beloved, I welcome you to this morning's edition of Divine Words. With yours truly, Samuel Kweku Dumamwa. You can call me El Patron. This morning, I would want to share a life experience with you. As I always say, I would never share with you what I have never experienced. Now listen very carefully. After the first mistake in life, the next worst mistake is to let the first mistake hold you back from living on better. No, let me repeat that. Wait, listen to me carefully. After the first mistake, the next worst mistake is to let the first mistake hold you back from living on better. Yes, you heard that. Correct the mistakes if they are correctable. Yes, otherwise, pick up the lessons that came from the mistakes and move on with your life. Always remember that you are going to make mistakes in life no matter what. You are going to make mistakes in life no matter what. Why? Because no one is perfect and no one is perfect even going to agree with all the decisions you have made in life. No one is going to agree with the words you have said, spoken, or even written. Listen carefully. I am not saying that this is the justification for all the mistakes you have made. No. There are decisions and words that still haunt and taunt me every night. They do. What I have learned is that some of these decisions made me who I am. And some of these decisions made can lead to the drastic change in your life. A lot of a friend, a change in life's path, or something, a fork in the road. Don't beat yourself up for what has already happened. Learn from your mistakes and learn how you can better a person that you want to be. Not everyone is going to agree with your decision. Not everyone is going to agree with your actions. It is very different when you are a player and a spectator. I tell you no lie, it is very different. As a spectator, we think or we might think that we know everything. Mm -hmm. We anticipate moves. We are strong-headed and minded on our views of a situation. And sometimes we forget, we forget that we are not the player. <laughs> we are not in the game. We are merely watching. As a player, it is a world different. As a player, the decisions that are made were made to fit to what the situation requires. Now listen, feelings, thoughts, Emotions are your mess. They are many strings to a pulpit, and sadly, to fully function, all the strings need to move in a synchronization form. No one will truly understand the emotions, thoughts, and that's all the things that are running through your mind. 
at 2 a.m. in the morning, they wouldn't be around. So they wouldn't understand the emotions. No, they won't. Only you do. Spectators always think that they've got it all figured out, but they have no idea. They don't. Sometimes they throw a huge fit when a player screws up. Yes, he has just brought the ball. But remember this. You are a spectator, not a player. A player is solely different from a spectator. Get to know who you are. Value who you are and stick to who you are. That is the way of life. Lord Jesus, we thank you this morning. Your word makes us understand that when we pray to you to help us number our days, indeed you, Lord, will listen. Father, this morning we are right here in front of you, Lord. Praying and asking, Lord, that this day that we pray, may we know our stand in life. Whether we are spectators or we are going to join the team to be a player. Lord, may we play our roles individually and not cross paths with anyone. May we not cross the path of others so that they may think we are against them. May they also not cross our path so that our visions could be established. We believe in you, Jesus, that you will do it. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Beloved, thank you for watching me this day. See you same time tomorrow. This is Divine Words with yours truly, Samuel Kweku Odumamua, and you can call me El Patron. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.